Hey Taurus, I have some really good news you guys. So I got a second rose bouquet from Rose Forever. And this is the 35, if I'm not mistaken, 35 or 36 dome shaped rose arrangement that was gifted in collaboration with Rose Forever. I know I've already told you guys in the prior one um, just how much Rose Forever has these luxurious rose boxes that are like hand designed and they're natural roses that have been preserved with natural oils for it to last up to a year, right? I know I told you guys that the first time. Um, and you know, just how natural it is or just how beautiful the arrangements always are. I think it's really cool that they use um, professional artists to kind of arrange it. So you kind of get something different every single time. Um, but that's not all that I wanted to share with you guys, okay? Yes, that is important and they are beautiful and I love them. But this time, I don't know what it is about this particular arrangement or who arranged it. But it's like the moment that I took it out of the box. I ain't gonna lie, you guys. That shit made me a little emotional. Y'all know I'm empathic and I'm sensitive. So when I took it out the box, I felt like, I don't know. Like if y'all saw the first one, but this one, it looks like each particular rose was just delicately placed. You know what I'm saying? And like when I opened the box, I was like, wow, like I felt that. So, yeah, I, I felt the emotional energy or the emotional love and care that went into this arrangement. And it made me feel so different. Like I started having visions. OK, it made me like go through a series of emotions and I started having like visions and I started feeling like my ancestors was communicating with me. Um, you know how just like a beautiful painting on the wall, when you go to a museum, you experience whatever the artist put into that portrait, right? The visual sim symbolism, the emotions, something that was created a while ago still lives on, right? Through that picture. That's kind of how I felt with whichever artist that handcrafted this particular arrangement or this particular bouquet I felt like they put a lot of love into it and you know just that alone made me really realize just how just how like powerful my ancestors are you know to think that we have ancestors that you know, didn't get to see roses often, right? Their environment changed. They didn't get to see a lot of nature. So to just know that I come from ancestors that held the beauty of a rose in their mind. They had to envision beauty in order to manifest themselves out of poverty or manifest themselves out of a world that looked ugly around them you know what I'm saying so just just to know that how much emotion goes into visualizing better for yourself right holding a space of love in your heart um despite what your circumstances may look like despite what all of these may appear to be it speaks volumes that This was given to me and I feel like it's just a, a token or a reminder of just how delicate you are despite where you may grow out of or where you may sprout from. It's just a constant reminder. So to have that on my desk, I decided to do a, a little something a little bit different. You guys are welcome to utilize the rose forever however you want to. But for me, I want to dedicate this to my ancestors. So in honor of them. I am going to write them a love letter, right? I'm going to write them a love letter. I'm going to thank them for all that they have done for me, sacrificed, and I already like when I got it out the box, I spent time with it. I built a relationship with it. And like I said, um, just knowing that my ancestors have done so much to have a dream, to 
watch it come into fruition. They had to talk to the the furniture, you know. They had to talk to the teapots and the cups and they had to they had to envision the stories in the books before they can read it. So this means a lot to me and I feel like this is just my ancestors um letting me know that they are with me and so for Valentine's I'm going to take this whole bouquet and I'm going to gift it back to them. Bless the hands that created this arrangement, put their love into it. May they experience more love. May those that have pure heart experience more love anytime they see these roses on my channel. It's just beautiful. So I'm just sealing it. And you can put your own, like, I sprinkle drops of my own um, essential oils that I love to smell, not only on myself, but around my home. I drizzled those across the arrangement as well. So it is very multi-versatile, you guys. And I think that's what I love about it is everything that I do has meaning, okay? I've always been that, that child that believed her toys had feelings, you know. So, I'm sharing this intimate moment with you guys because I really do love each and every single one of you. And the love that you shared with me on your personal journeys, I'm honored. So, I'm going to seal that. I tried to open the bottom of it, you guys, and it didn't work. So I'm just going to let the wax um, harden underneath it. And again, you can use the arrangement. Um, you can use the arrangement however you want to use it. But this is how I use it because I'm more spiritual than I am anything else. So for me... Everything around me has intentions. Everything around me has a purpose. And that's just how I am, you guys. So, yeah, if you are looking for a gift for yourself, okay, or someone else, and you would like to get a discount, I'm going to put a link at the bottom of this screen. And you'll be able to go into the description box. I'm going to let that dry. You're going to be able to go into the description box and you'll be able to utilize the link that was given to me. You'll just put the code in Taurus25. Again, it's going to be like here on the screen and in the description box at the top. It is good for 30 days if you want to participate go for it um this particular one if you like this arrangement is the dome shape they have different colors they have a wide range of colors um and again if you can kind of tell it looks a little wet because i you know just sprayed it or showered it a little bit with my own essential oils that i make for myself and um yeah it's beautiful it doesn't want to stick but we'll get it to stick later I love it. So let's go ahead and jump into this reading, you guys. Love you, Taurus. Bye. Welcome back, Taurus. Let's jump right into this channel message. <clears throat> I hope when you're guided to watch this reading that you are having the best day ever, that you are experiencing more peace, love, and abundance in your life during this time. So let's get into this message, Taurus. I had to put a little hot glue under my rose bouquet so I could get the love letter to stick to the bottom of it. So if you were wondering how I got that to work, I worked it out, y'all. <laughs> so let's talk about this energy that's surrounding you, Taurus, because <clears throat> um, I feel guided as well to do a uh, reading for all of my mothers-to-be or my 
mothers in general so there's going to be a link also in the description box over to the reading that i'm going to do right after this one what well, it's already going to be done by the time you see it but that link is going to be in the description box it's going to be for um mothers in general so if you're a mother to be or you are a mother and you are on that sacred journey um spirit i feel spiritually called to do a reading for you guys on that channel so check it out if you're interested um but like i was saying there's this overall creative energy that's coming about so you're about to be noticing like a creative spurt you may get like a lot of downloads i'm picking up on like um a lot of creative ideas are going to be flowing towards you and i feel like that's that that empress energy right you're going to feel like oh my god whether you are physically pregnant you're going to feel like you are subconsciously pregnant with like an idea a download a creative inspiration um so i really see you taking some time to yourself so you can clear out your mind and balance out your thoughts. It's interesting that this card came out again, okay, for today and during the live stream from yesterday. This was the message of balance um, needed during this time because I just get this energy where you've already came out of it. Like this part, the hard part is over Taurus. That's what spirit wants you to know. There's no need to overthink about it anymore. Worry about it. What's going on out there in the ethers that's a thing of the past bottom of the deck we have um trust and faith so trust and faith that your angels are handling it your ancestors are handling things and you can focus on yourself right feeling good smelling the roses i heard stop and smell the roses um some of y'all will be taking a vacation or taking some time off of work for yourself i'm also seeing a trip here to bask in some love okay and it's interesting that the the oracle cards that came out in the message was the thinking woman 47 and then we have the solar plexus all right which is a 37 so we got 47 37 these could be ages as well but something is like you're getting a new start at something you're getting a new opportunity to do something Something that you were told no about once before, you're about to have an opportun opportunity to do it. Bottom of the deck, we have baby. Okay, so there could be a baby about to be born for somebody. Um, this could also be a birth of a business that I'm hearing. So your creation is protected. Your ideas are protected. Um, your sensitivity. All right, you can be very sensitive. That's protected as well. <clears throat> So go ahead and with confidence and move forward that after you come out of this resting period, um, relaxation period, um, quiet time, meditation time that you've been taking for yourself going within. Once you get out of that, if you're currently in that state of healing or you're on that break of, of, of peace and tranquility, when you reemerge, you're going to feel like a totally new person. Some of you are in the midst of experiencing that right now. And when I saw this yin and yang, this also made me think of Pisces. I don't know why, but something could be happening for you during Pisces season. You may take a spontaneous trip. Okay. Or there's going to be like a pregnancy by Pisces season. If you're wondering if you're going to be able to do something, just know it's a strong yes. When when you were told no, there's something that you were told no, you may not ever get to experience. But just like you get to experience it. You know what I'm saying? It's going to feel magical. Just know that. Jellyfishes could also be significant for you with intentions. Look at that. Bottom, the, behind that was shark. Okay, and shark is showing up as fear. So you're able to really see like shark tails. Baby shark do 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 do. So maybe someone watches shark tails. Okay, or you're able to see clearly now. I can see clearly now. The rain is gone. Being away from somebody as well on this vacation is really helping you heal. It's really helping you deal with anxi anxiety. Like to really end it. Okay, we have the angel of balance right behind that. So if you've been feeling stuck in the past, spirit wants you to know that's an end. Look at this. Endings. I heard a new shelf. 
Something about an altar. You could have an altar on your shelf or whatnots on your shelf. <clears throat> there could be a confirmation about whatnots on your shelf that something is manifesting. Look at that. Angels and finances. Look at y'all money and your health is being healed. You are on the right path. Okay. Your freedom. You're free to do something. You are free to move about the country, Taurus. This is exciting. Something is sacred. Your home is sacred. Past life relationship. Okay, so you have known each other before. So you could be doing Reiki healing on yourself or you could be doing yoga. Okay. Spirit one, let's go into this um past life relationship. Love and light, natives. I really want to see what is about this past life relationship here that Taurus needs to know, Spirit. Because outside of all of these life purpose cards and you have a lot of past life energy here. Um, your belief systems could be significant here. Uh, you could be have been married to someone in the past or in a past life. It doesn't have to be this life, but something is healing. So your finances and health is being like healed by angels. Okay, some of y'all could be doing this with Reiki healing, quantum healing, where you're getting um, some type of Reiki healing done on yourself today. And they want you to know as a confirmation, your health is about to be restored. You're about to see your finances restored. If you were having any blockages um, in regards to your abundance and in regards to your health, my, um, health of mind. Okay, mental health. If you've dealt with fear, anxiety, stress, feeling overwhelmed, mental overload. Um, <clears throat> whatever you're going to do to yourself, your health is going to be like so much better. Your mental health is going to be so much better. You're going to feel like finally you can hear your own self think again. Yeah. So here, what does Taurus need to know about this past life relationship? You might even get dreams and downloads of something that happened to you in a past life. And it's going to make sense for this lifetime. The tower. You might, um, you're going to finally understand why you had to break up with somebody or why you and someone else may have had to break up or go your separate ways. That may have been a clarity that you needed to know. Like, why did we have to break up? Why didn't it work out? Why? And it has something to do with a past life relationship. Some of you guys had a past life relationship that followed you here. There could have been a karmic tie that needed to end. It like it followed you here. Who is this past life? Um which card do I want to do? Who is this um karmic relationship from a past life? Do I want to use this deck? No. Let's use a small deck. For who exactly, where, what was the actual source of this karmic, um, this, this attachment here? What was the actual source? Where was the source coming from? It could have been like an entity that came over with you. Okay, or like something that was done to you at birth when you were a baby. Like before you even incarnated justice yeah again with death so in a past life okay in this life you guys incarnated where this intention was again we saw intentions right this intentions like was intended to um, either to evade some type of karma. Okay, maybe you left this person in a past life and this person, there's something that had to be repeated. Okay, you may not even remember how something went down had to go that way because of karma.
Like you may have had to go through that experience of being abandoned by someone because in a past life you abandoned them or vice versa. There's something about um, Ace of Cup in order for it to be renewed or restored. Something had to end. It had to go both ways or go both cycles. But this is about the Eight of Cups. Okay, it could have been something to do with like cheating or karma. I'm getting for some of you as well. There could have been a situation in a past life where um, where this life, like maybe those third party energies <clears throat> found you guys in this current life okay you could have incarnated into those thir those third party energies so let's say for example your father mother sister um romantic spouse or love affair or someone you never dated they were karmic past life ties and you had to like go on a journey and and i be able to identify those karmic ties and sever them so you can experience the fullness of love thereof or something about the fullness of love like you had to like <clears throat> you had to end it it's giving me the strength card right because a lot of times when i see the strength card that shows me um where it no longer controls you, right? You slay it. Like you deal with that that darkness and you slay it. Like you confront it, you heal it, and um it, I feel like it was karmically assigned to you though. And it may have it may have been like something that followed you into this lifetime. So let me give you an example, right? So, um, so like, for example, let me talk about my sister for a second, right, Taurus? So, <clears throat> my sister did a past life regression, right? And during her past life regression, like, she came into the world, right? And she's been with, um her spouse. They're not legally married, but they've been together since they were teenagers, right? Along their journey, um, they came in path with other people, but they decided they still wanted to be together. So they're still together now, right? But in my sister's own healing journey, even though she's in a relationship, there are some things that, you know, she felt like something was calling out to her, right? And so it was like she was looking at her relationship like, I don't know, something's not right, or maybe this is not the one, right? Maybe I'm not supposed to be with them. So come to find out when she did her past life regression, um, this lady knew nothing about her or anything like that, but she let her know that you have a karmic tie from a previous life that was established in a previous life and it followed you here and that person is calling you in and they're doing um you know they're obsessing over you they're meditating you they're saying like i want my person i want my person but because they're still in low vibrational energy they haven't learned those lessons from that previous life she was in her life Feeling like someone was spiritually calling out to her and she was unsure of sh if she was supposed to still be in her relationship or not. So long story short, um, during that past life regression, right, she, the lady helped her cut those cords, right, and set herself free from this person being able to telepathically communicate with her from afar because this person's telepathic communication was wanting to her to become single, to give up her life, to re-question her, her perspective, re-question her choices in life, and all those different things. So that tie was becoming stronger and stronger. So this person was actually um, seeking her energy out from the astral realm, right? And from the spiritual realm. 
And so she helped her in that and sever that connection where that person could no longer communicate with her because that energy was creating disruption in her life, creating a lot of um, stress, un being able to unsleep. She was feeling the message or the telepathic messages. And because she was becoming more open to the spiritual realm, it was like this person was calling her in. So the ladies t let her know that it was a very... Um, very, very low vibrational, <clears throat> excuse me, tie where they were like extremely depressed or they were like very angry and they were like, I want my person. I want my person. <clears throat> so she was like, if you guys were to run into each other, it would be very difficult to get rid of that person once they made physical contact because that person would always try to control her or it was just very a dark soul from a previous life was really trying to hold on to her and um so she helped her cut those cords because the objective of this dark soul this lifetime was like it came with the intention like i'm gonna end you okay um, for whatever reason that's how much hatred that soul reincarnated with from a previous life so it was a very dark soul. That's just all I kept. She kept reiterating to her. She was like, had you had social media or you were that type of person that was out there in the streets, this person would have kept working, you know, energetically to run course with you or to, to align their path with you. And it's like this person way worse. So <clears throat> some of you have met that a dark soul in your life some of you have incarnated okay because you have death here and then this here so let's say for example in a past life it was like a really bad love-hate relationship and it got really dark and y'all i don't know let's say someone killed you or vice versa there was an ending an abrupt ending so this person died with the intent to meet you again and make sure that they d make you never have to experience love or they disrupt your life that's how I feel here. That low vibrational grief. That's the intention of this soul. And for a lot of you, you're going to know those type of karmic souls, dark souls, is because letting you go is the hardest thing for them to do. The idea of letting you go and watching you walk away from them emotionally brings out like they will lie, still cheat. Um, manipulate, do whatever is necessary to get you back. It's like a possessive energy. They only want you like to themselves. So it's like, even though they may not remember, because that demon is still, that darkness is followed them over. It's like, like hunting you down so you're being protected from that person being able to find you on the web you're being protected from that person being able to communicate with you or contact with you but i feel like ultimately um we got libra scorpio uh capricorn a lot of scorpio energy And it's like they want you back or they're trying to wield you back towards them so they can do it all over again. Something about being able to do it all over again. But this time they want to be <clears throat> the ones that leave you out cold. They want to be the ones that they want to be the ones where they're trying to like reverse it. Like I'm going to leave you with my demons and walk away happy. And that's why they're so vigorously trying to, you know, get you back. Mm-hmm. And then look, the four of swords. This is all they meditate on when they go to sleep. They think about it before they go to bed. When they wake up, they get mad. They feel very overwhelmed. They can't sleep at night. And they're psychically, you know, trying to confuse you so they can hold on to you. Some of y'all could have worked with this person, collaborated with them, met them out in a at a at a public or a marketplace. Or y'all grew up in the same neighborhood or the same community. 
And she was, so my sister was like, who, who would possibly want to do that? Like, what type of soul would I have? She was like, you don't even need to know. But she had to get rid of that tie. It was an energetic cord that still linked them together from a past life. Yeah, three of cups. Some of y'all could have three different people. Okay. Definitely third party energy. They're like mad. These are like a lot of mad energy. Resentment. Okay. Chaotic energy. They want you to be trapped. Yeah. They want you to. They want to trap you. Some of y'all they want to trap you with a child. So they can like get rid of competition. Um, others of you they want to trap you just in general. Just to like make you only be sensitive to them. And possessive. And it's very low vibrational. And a lot of this has to do with how you guys broke up or how those past relationships ended. And it's like it came back with these karmic ties and justice energy here. Like they didn't like their judgment from a past life. They didn't like their karma from a past life. So with great intention, they came back and like continue wanting to reincarnate. And like I said, karmic relationships, they're your... They're your sister, brother, uncle, cousins. They could be your lovers, your spouses. It doesn't matter. It's like the roles just change. For some of you, they were a friend in a past life. For others of you, they were your friend that cheated. And for others of you, it was you. You'll never really know, but you'll know how. <clears throat> it's like you'll be able to feel it intuitively when they show up. You might start off being like, oh, wow, it's something shiny. It's something magical. And then when you really get to know them, you're starting to see how toxic they are. How possessive they are over you. These are these past life connections. Queen of Swords. For some of you, I'm going to be honest with you. You keep having this thinking woman here, this Queen of Swords energy. It's not really your energy. It could be though. All right. I'm picking up a strong feminine energy, though. Like a strong feminine energy, strong Libra, um, Gemini, but mainly Libra, Libra Scorpio type energy, Cusper. <clears throat> but a strong third party energy. So a lot of these third party energies are that they are repeating this will. Some of you, they've incarnated as dark souls attached to your person or to you. By way of mothers, I'm hearing, okay, by way of siblings, by way of romantic partners, it's so different for everybody, but I'm seeing all these different, um, all these different visions pop up. So I'm just mentioning them as I'm seeing them. Some of you are... You're assisting a past life karmic situation by by helping them get to a healer, okay, or your angels, or there's something about ancestors on the other side that have ascended as angels are assisting to help um, put this old feud to rest, this old, like, to really end it once and for all, to end the old grief. And so that way you guys can rewrite a new story. The connection will be severed. It's very interesting. Spirit, for those that are. Okay, so look, the Six of Swords. Six of Wands. For those of you that are like moving in secret and not really telling anybody what your plans are, continue doing that because I feel like whatever it is you're guided to do is going to be successful. Like. You're going to be protected. You're you're being protected from whatever's being projected or whoever's calling you in. Um, like I said, it could be, like I said, this could be a brand new person you haven't met, but they are a karmic relationship. Because we have the page of pentacles here. All right. Some of y'all, this could be a new person or it's like a familiar energy. But I heard like once you get to the root, okay, 
of because I just feel like this could be even um this could even be a deceased person like a deceased soul that's on the other side like wreaking havoc deliberately and like you see this grip this person may have a grip on you or they're trying to disrupt you it's like they want to end you and like take your place or something it's like they want somebody's trying to there's a there's a soul on the other side that's trying to like lead you to like hurt yourself or become could become um like a third order soul yeah it's like they want this they want this car they want this to be keep you stuck okay so it's like they're on the other side and trying to like push you to her harm yourself there's like this this entity this soul like this it's not really a person it's an energy and it keeps finding anytime you try to have love or something like that or anytime you try to feel like you love yourself or restore your cup it's like this could be happening to the lovers that come into your life like black widow type energy <sighs> It's something about they die, so they want you to die, or they, or they, they, they had an unexpected ending, and they want you to experience the same thing. So it's like they're on the other side, using people to, you know, using people from your past relationships. Um, it's a past life. If if any of you guys lost somebody that you was in love with, they may be more benevolent, benevolent than you think. Okay, I feel like past life relationship, they may be. Um, they may have died with like guilt, like anger. And like they're so mad. So they, they, they've been working on the spirit realm, like constantly trying to wreak havoc in your love life. Okay. So it's like it's it's on. It's like that that energy has to be eradicated or something like that like with karma here they're they're they've been like breaking universal laws it's coming from so many angles messing with your finances right um trying to distort the messages that you're receiving from your angels trying to mess with your health making you really tired un unreally emotionally like like paranoid or something that's what i'm picking up here trying to make you paranoid like they're mad they don't want to see you happy they don't want to see you happy or doing something different yeah they're trying to block you they block offers. They block you from dating other people. Some of you guys, you may have, um, you may have like a, like a spirit spouse, but it was like demonically sent to you through somebody. Somebody demonically sent something to you. This could have been a spouse of someone else or like a karmic partner of somebody else. And they sent you some type of spirit spouse and you may have been feeling like oh, okay you know there's this person out there but they're like telling you these things but but whatever keeps coming to you in physical flesh is not good for you and it's something to do with um this could be like by way of your soulmate okay like you never get to the soulmate because you have these these people working on you working against you and I feel like they sent some type of entity or or a demonic thing in, in a way of a spirit spouse trying to disrupt your life. But you may think like, oh, I'm supposed to be with this spirit spouse or some shit like that. But it's not really that. It's really um, to keep you on this loop, to slow you down, to block your blessings, to make you... You know what I'm saying? You never get to experience happiness. So that's being removed for you from you. Yeah, Ace of Cups. You're healing and the Ace of Swords. They're mad. You got like three Queen of Swords out here. 
I don't know who these three Queen of Swords are, but they are so mad. Okay, that you are healing something, that you are getting rid of whatever negative entities they sent your way, that you're closing an no old chapter and you're starting a new one. You've learned your lessons. Um, you've you've grieved that. You've let it go, and you get to have your wish fulfillment. You're on the right path. I promise you, Eight of Cups. You're moving away from a lack consciousness. You know the truth already. Like, whatever was keeping you from having a perspective shift, you see their motives now. Look at that. Queen of Swords, three times. That's confirmation. They wanted you to be bitter like them. Shit, these could be friends. These could be siblings. Okay, they could have been giving you advice, relationship advice, telling you to walk away. Um, and maybe you needed to for a season, Eight of Cups. Or they could have been just like, they, they were doing something and hiding their hands. Again, Three of Cups. These some bitty, these some, they are busy bodies. Oh my God. Yes, look at that. You're gonna you're gonna look back and you're gonna be so happy. Like somebody that okay, for some of you, you're gonna look back and you're gonna realize like why you had to go on that journey that way, why you had to get to safety, why you guys had to go your separate ways. It's something about this journey that's not completely it's not done until like the healing is complete. Balance has to be restored, justice has to be restored because somebody there's a there's third party energies involved with this situation. Um, there was some spiritual universal laws that were infringed upon Taurus that should not have been infringed upon. Okay. This could have been someone that, like I said, this could have been someone that grew up in your family. This could have been someone that um, was pretending like, oh, all they do is think about you. You're their muse. Um, they want to be with you. But their objective is they're a dark soul. They wanted to pull you from your relationships and distort your, your happiness. So they was wreaking havoc and doing things. Yeah. Sending messages. Always. They could have been making you feel like grass was greener on the other side. But then like let's say if you tried to get with them or anything like that. They just wanted to torture you or make you feel like you could never find better than them. They could be male, female, really posing to be like mature and stable, but they might have always kept you waiting. And then you realize that they were trying to keep you on this. They were on this power struggle. They came into this life upset and wanting you to be stuck and stagnant and unable to move on past them because they couldn't get you when you were younger or they couldn't get you. This is like someone wanting you to chase after them, but wanting you to sit outside and spend the rest of your life playing old sad love songs. Until they decide that they, they want to bring you back in. And the reality of it is they were never going to decide that. The reality of it is it was always a past life karmic relationship that was praying on you, meditating on you, sending you projected energy, um, visiting you in your dreams. They could have even sent, you know, what was what was spiritually plaguing them to you, wanting to share that burden with you. Real malicious. So it's like you severed a lot of people off and with good reason. Okay, you you sever, severed yourself from them. You This person thought you could never cut their cord. That's what I'm seeing here. They thought you could never cut their cord or you would never catch on to their lies. Like you will always come back. They may have said that to you. Like no matter where you go or how far you go, we're always going to be together. Yeah. Yeah. Neither one of us is being honest right now. Why are we afraid to express ourselves? Yeah, this is for those that, especially those ties where they were afraid to express themselves. They're really past life karmics. These feelings overwhelm me and I become afraid. 
Sometimes I even run away from you because of it. So there's these third parties that are being severed completely. And you guys had to go on this journey. So you can align with your true divine counterpart. And I feel like you had to go on this journey to d determine who your karmic partners are. Whether they were family, friends, or ex-lovers. And really sever those ties in order for you to experience your divine counterpart. This is what the holdup was. It was coming. But like every time it was coming. like You know every time it was coming something was delaying it. And distorting your judgment, clouding your judgment. Who is this wealthy man in thought spirit? N not wanting you to move on. Like you were outgrowing this. These karmics. They just couldn't take tolerate the idea of you outgrowing them. Yeah, you outgrew them. You outgrew. Um, they trying to keep you in this low vibrational energy. Feeling abandoned, feeling lonely, and you saw the truth and you saw the games and you spiritually saw and realized what it is you needed to do. They was working on you. Okay, it could have been a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, strong on the Cancer. They could have Cancer in their chart. We're holding on to resentment, grudges, apathy. We got apologies here. Yeah, they spy on you and they watch you and then they try to come in and say nice things and it's to confuse you and keep you connected to this community. Um, or they play on your emotions, Taurus, your sensitivity, like how we talked about at the beginning of the week. You are sensitive to energies. You're very in tune with the spirit realm. But yeah, you can tell when something's being directed towards you. Or when you're off off balance. Okay. So you are. The hard part is almost over. Two of wands. There's a choice that you recently made. Alright. You re-looked at something. And you had to like reevaluate the terms of your contract. That's what I heard. Okay. Justice. A betrayal is ending. I see someone also like. Someone's becoming divine here, Taurus. Like, you're becoming that that person in your life for yourself. Like, you're becoming, you're like, I'm taking matters into my own hands. And, you know, I get, I'm not going to allow this to distort my perception. Eight of Pentacles, I'm willing to do the work. I'm willing to commit to my journey. I'm willing to commit to laying old feuds to rest. Congratulations. Okay, someone's I'm telling there's a king of pentacles becoming like stepping into their divine divinity. These non-committal energies were literally like delays, non-committal and this person could have been dealing with people that talk to them like shit. It's so disgusting. Your 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 masculine could have been dealing with someone that that dealt with people that talked to them like like um like belittled them, made them feel like they were never going to be anything in life. Just used them up, but I feel like karmic justice is for the both of you to like slay that that Entity that's been like fucking with y'all mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. This was y'all path. It's like y'all got like a, a guest on out here in the form of so many third party people. And I feel like these angels is like Lumin um Lumiere that's been kind of like negotiating between you and your person, trying to help you and your divine counterpart see things for what it is spiritually so you can physically get moved past the the thoughts that are being projected at you the destructive you know sabotaging energy that don't belong to you
Look at that. King and Queen of Pentacles. It keeps coming out. I'm telling you. So you guys can become who you need to become. Like y'all are not y'all circumstances. Y'all are not where y'all came from. It, it just feels like. This is monumental. Monumental. This is karmic justice. To the both of you. Because something was done unjustly. Somebody's father, okay, or archetype of a father figure is really helping you guys invest in this connection from a very stable, balanced perspective. And this this archetype is like a guide now. They're like an angel that, that watches over your connection. Um, so let's see what you need to be mindful of, Taurus. Okay, what does Taurus need to be mindful of? Okay. It says unique lives. Bottom of the deck. I respect everyone's individual decisions and way of life. We are each on our own unique journeys. And my way isn't the only way. My job is not to change others, but to simply love them. Mm-hmm. Up and out. To heal the parts of me that feel hurt, I must feel every emotion. It has to come up to come out. I don't try to push my feelings away. I sit with them and feel them as I release them. Yeah, someone's about to get some deep healing. Cellular healing. Angelic healing. We have nurture. It's okay to want to stay home and be alone. I deserve days to myself. Days to relax and simply be. I honor how I feel and take this day to do that. Things that make me make things that feel nurturing to me okay commitment i am committed to my growth and dreams i set routines and habits that help me evolve into my fullest potential even though i may not see the physical manifestation of my desires i know they have vibrationally manifested and are in on their way to me water my dreams all I desire is on its way to me, but like a seed, my dreams too must be watered. My belief and determination is what makes them grow. I will be patient throughout this journey. It is all unfolding at perfect at the perfect time. Taurus, as always, I'm sending you lots of love, wisdom, and guidance on your journey. And I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Love you, Taurus. Bye.